What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood, Steve Gator here. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day. I wanted to uh, let you know that I have re-uploaded my skin to the skin server several times. I've logged in and out of Minecraft several times. I'm having some sort of super bug. Something's going on and I'm not able to have a skin. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section of the down there. But we're standing uh, here at the 1-8 on top of a giant pillar of lapis. And I have the bold here. And so we're going to go ahead and fortune this bad boy. And I want you to leave in the comments to the down there uh, your guesstimates of how much we're going to get. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you. It's like 50-something blocks. Not a full stack, but like 50 blocks of lapis. So we're just going to dig this out. And um, talk about stuff and things on the way down. I hope none. Uh, I wonder if any of this is going to land. We'll have to make little pit stops. A little pit stop. Pick this stuff up. But uh, yeah, so today is going to be a day of a couple of different things. I have a couple of things planned. Um, we're not going to be working on the 1-8, uh, the ribbon, and we're not going to work on the racetrack today. But there's some other things that have been going on around town that we're going to work on. And I'll tell you more about it in here in a second. All right, let's grab the rest of this stuff here. Ready? What was your guess? My guess is five stacks. Holy crap, I was wrong. <laughs> um, all the stacks. So that was a weird slap ever. <laughs> it sounded like a cartoon character. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 9 stacks. All of the stacks. That is not what I thought it was. Um, so let's go ahead and stick it down inside of here like this. But we're going to make some lapis blocks. Uh, let's just make uh, one of these full things of them. All right, that should be enough. So stick the rest of it in here. And the next thing we gotta do is go and get some snow. And yeah, we'll just grab some snow. So we're just gonna head up here. I'm not gonna make like a snow machine or anything like that. We're just gonna grab the snow because we need to make some snows. Um, because what's gone on, and I'll show you here in a second, is that right at the entrance to New Hermiton, um, there have been creeper issues. I've had creepers spawn there. Other people have had creepers spawn there. There are explosions happening, and people are people's stuff and things are getting destroyed. Um, a couple more balls. We almost got all. Of them. We almost got enough balls. Let's get a couple more balls, and we should have all the balls. Um, so yeah, people's stuff and things are getting destroyed. Uh, the entrance to our new hermitin has been exploded there's another uh, little area over there that's been exploded um so and it's not cool man uh let's grab of those oh yeah we need some wood as well for this um oh man all right this 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 hmm no paintings um Hopefully, we'll be good with that. Uh, we'll grab that just in case. All right, so we're going to head over to New Hermiton, and we're going to get some stuff and things done, get some fixing done. Uh, yeah, so when we're on the way over there, um, I don't know. I just want to say thank you guys for supporting the channel, kick, hitting the like button, doing all that stuff and things. You guys are awesome, as always. Um, it's been really, really cool to see in, uh, the, the stuff and things happening. Um and uh, I've been really excited about a lot of the other Hermits videos. There's like a fast food thing going on. So, what's up, Jessica? There's like a fast food thing going on. There's a salad bar now. There's the D McDonald's. There's a KFC. There's a lot of food happening. Um, so maybe we'll take a trip in, over there and take a look at that too. This hand is awful. I hate this hand. It's weird looking. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, let me show you about over here what's what's been going on. So all right, any creepers? All right, we're good. So this area has been blown up by a creeper multiple times. Um, this was blown up, it looks like, by a creeper as well. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring crap. I was going to bring some stone. Maybe Skizzles has some? Skizzles, give me all your stones. I'm going to fix your front yard with your stone. Do you have any just like regular flat stone there, buddy? All right, so we're going to take some of this. There, he's got some. So we're going to take a little bit of schism stone to make some slabs. I'm sure he won't mind. I can I can come back later and bring some back. All right, so now we got some stone stuff and things. Where are you, man? Do you hear the... I hear him. 
The zombie. There he is. What up, man? Yeah, no, seriously. It's not a place for you. So, for instance, this area here is one of the areas we're going to fix. I'm going to fix this up. Just like so. Bam. So, there's a lot of mobs that come down and through this area and come out around here. So, we're going to fix that up like that. We are going to fix this up like this. Just a little more safe that way. Um, now, mobs can still, I think, if they path over here, they may be able to path in through this area. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think Monkey Farm's area is pretty well lit up. This is a big disaster. Um, so, we got to get this fixed up right here. And there's like, look at this. There's like just wool everywhere. I didn't bring any shears with me. But this is the kind of stuff and things that I'm like, this just can't be. New Hermiton's not like this. We're better than this here at New Herbiton. We have to have a purdy area. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and fix this up. And I think that I may, I don't, I don't know. I think this is all lit up well enough. But I don't know. They're pathing from far away. And it feels like almost, we almost maybe, oh, man, need to, um, put a door on this I'd really rather not to be honest with you I'd really rather not do that um, but it almost feels like we might have to just because it isn't safe like it's not safe at all oh I didn't get any glass either there's a little bit of glass missing right there so I might have to head back to the one to grab it um, so right here let's go ahead and uh, get one of these one of them uh 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 uh, 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 fixed. All right, perfect. So we're going to go with that. Something like one of these. Bam. And those look good. I think we got to get something like this going. And there should be a stair here. Bam. And then was there glowstone right here? No, that looks really wrong. Um, hey, what? Oh, man, crapola. Um, I don't know what was up there. I don't think there was a piece of glowstone right there. But I feel like there probably should be. If we take a look at the light levels, it's like spawnable space right here. So why don't we take this out and then stick some glowstone up inside of there. Now, better. So still two... Is it right here that's too dark? Look how dark it is right there. Um, all right, maybe just a couple of torches. And a torch right here. Oh, that's kind of ugly. It's kind of fugly. Torch right there. Still right here, not light enough. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure about it, but at the very least, we got to get that repaired. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can steal glass. <laughs> from schism as well schism i love you man and appreciate you helping with the repair efforts oh, man all the pains there they are one two three so let's grab some glass and put that over here too. get that fixed up oh oh what's underneath there grass do i have any dirt crap schism schizzles i just need a little bit of dirt I should have brought the stuff over here with me. None of the dirt. Do you even have dirt? Do you even dirt, bro? Why does he have two piece, two random pieces of dirt? We'll use this dirt. And to pay him back with flowers, glowstone, this zombie flesh, and stairs. All right, so let's go ahead and get that dirt in here. Glass, glass, glass. Um, and then over here, somebody had taken, there was that there, and then there was flint and steel, I think, on both sides, but we're missing one, so we'll have to come back to get that. We'll get this out of here. I think Mumbo had set that up. Now, over in this area, Mumbo's beautiful sign was destroyed. Um, so there's not enough of that. All right, let's grab the dirt. Fill this in. Better. <laughs> Who fixed this? It's crazy. I don't know who fixed that, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't the best. All right, and uh, slabs like we have. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Broken area. 
whole areas were busted up. This is not the new hotness. Uh, nope. And it's a thing, kind of. That looks bad. Doesn't it? It's better than it was, that's for sure. Well, all right. So I feel like we can leave that open just because um, it's easier to walk by. Uh, and we'll stick the wool in there for Mumbo to have. But we fixed up... Alice did it. We fixed up Schism's front yard. And I feel like we're going to light this up a little bit for him. Because it's not lit up well enough. And this whole area is just, like I said, spawning mobs. Um, we're going to stick some torches around to try and just make it a little bit, you know, less spawn friendly. Um, and then, they're, you know, they're hidden back and away in there. They should be good to go. See, you can hear that skelly already. Let's get this area lit up. Yeah. What are you? Is it? Stop it. All right, and down and around in here too. I think this is where maybe some of this is coming from. So we're just gonna do the community a service and get this place lit up a little bit better. You know it's a perfect place for a torch? Right there. Oh man, what, are they pathing from up in here perhaps? Is this spawnable? Okay, it's not. This is though. What's this? What is this? Secret chests. Oh, that's the top of that's the top of Juicy's house. All right, let's uh, go ahead and cover this up for him, like so. Wait. Yeah, no, that'll work. Perfect. Now it's all covered up. It's better. Um, all right, so I feel like we've done something good just to start off with. Not like a huge project or anything, but we took a minute, we made a couple of changes, and hopefully. This will help with mob spawns in this area. Now, the other thing we might do, I feel like we should take a couple spots right here and take a couple pieces of glowstone and just add them right there. So we got a couple, three pieces of glowstone over here, and it really lit, lights the area up and I think makes it safer. Now, there's another little bit of spawnable space over here that I didn't even think about. I'm going to need to climb up. Mumbo made a little mob spawner right here. So we'll go ahead and take that out. But it's tough in Minecraft, you know? It's not like Feed the Beast where you can just stick a magnum torch down or something like that and you have everything lit up and have new mob spawns. Um, so, but we have a really nice town here and it's really coming along. Monkey Farm's got this awesome tree. I mean, I don't know. Stuff and things look really, really good. So um, the unfortunate byproduct of all of this is that you've got to light stuff up. So... I'm the light up police. And uh, yeah, see, look, my stuff all lit up, really nice. Um, yeah, but anyway, all right, that was cool. Um, what else are we gonna do? Oh yeah, that's right. All right, so over here at like the fast food area, I don't, it's really funny. I don't know how this, ha why it's happened. I mean, I guess I get why it happened, but it's just funny, I don't know. It strikes me as odd. There's like KFC <laughs> McDonald's and salad thing. So, um, all right, so we had the KFC, which we saw, which is awesome. Um, and I saw this, uh, we showed it off the other day, um, and the build is amazing. But um, I was over here earlier taking a look at it, and uh, Kralis has got, he's got some interior stuff he's going to do still. He's got this little eating area here, which is really cool. Looks really good. Like, everybody can sit down and have a little meal. It's nice, right? Looks good. Looks cool. And it says over here, not free. <laughs> Stay away. All but mostly King Daddy Mackey. So uh, D-Mac's not able to be here. He's not allowed. So um, then over here it says Donald's. Look at that sign. That is really... I mean, you know what? A lot of times you don't really realize how hard something is to do. That's a really nice Donald sign. Like that D-Mac Donald's. That's really intricate for how small it is. Uh, but he's got his like golden arches here. You can see the two arches in the drive through He's got a whole road going on. Um, and D-Mac as well has got his, I think he's still working on this. He's got doing the interior still. Duh! Let me in. Thanks. So he's still doing his interior. He's got a cool floor going in, but some more stuff and things coming on the way. And, uh, I was over here at, um, Suzume Void Salads. Let's take a look. And what he's done is he's renamed, like, all these things. He's got all these, like, dispensers. Why is there water in the cup of milk? I don't know. So the cup of milk, cup of water, the salad spork. I like that so much. These are so funny. Napkin, small bowl, large bowl. Um, 
this was cool. A sliced pineapple, a cherry, which it does kind of look like a cherry. I never noticed that. Grapes that does kind of look like grapes. What's else, what else has we got? So many cool things. Cauliflower, s salad beans. I don't know what a salad bean is. I mean, it's a bean that goes in the salad, but I feel like that is perhaps a uh, British invention. Mozzarella. What's this one? Let me guess. Uh, pine nuts. Rice. Um, crumpled up napkin. Mashed potatoes. Rice noodles. Spaghetti. Close. Onion peels. So what do we got over here? Um, keyhole. Cucumber slice. Uh, no idea. Sweet corn. I bet lettuce. Yep. And pickles? Oh, yeah, nice. So, oh, celery. Um, rose petals? Tomato slice. This is what I would think beans. Oh, bacon bits. Oh, oh, bacon bits. So we're over here at the Redstone Consultory. Consultancy, I said. Uh, Dr. Mumbo, CEO, MBO, PhD, MA. Uh, let's go ahead and head in. I always feel like I'm going to get trapped or hurt when I'm in here. And I don't know. It feels kind of creepy. Like, this building is smarter than me. So um, we have this epic door. So we've been talking about the door to the ribbon. If you remember a couple episodes ago, we did the road to the ribbon. And um, so I want to hire on Mumbo to help with the door. Now, I could do a redstone door. I'm not, I don't do a lot of redstone, but I can do it. Um, but I feel like it would be fun to do it with Mumbo. And I'd like to see what we come up with. Um, I want to do it together because I want to make sure that, um, like, as, well, we may, we may not be able to do it together, but we'll see. Um, if we can manage to do it, but aesthetically it has to fit. It's I'm very, I'm kind of particular, but anyway, so I wrote this down for him. Dear Mr. Mumbo Jumbo, envision in your mind a door, not just any door, an epic door with redstone, epic redstone, but tasteful, not too large, not too small, just right in the maze balls. I would like to hire you on to design such a door. I will pay three diamonds, which I'll be awarded for complete your Easter egg hunt. In addition, whatever paper you see fit slip. So that's the thing you did. We're going to leave it in here for Mumbo Jumbo. Let me out. So much to do. So much to do. Back at the most dangerous maze ever. <laughs> when you come in. So we're back at the most dangerous maze ever. Uh, Mumbo's Labyrinth. And a lot of you guys were saying that my time was a little different than what I had thought. I said it was 117, but it's when you drop down... At the final thingy doodler um, is when your time stops. So I think that some people said it was less than one whatever. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, is this a shortcut? Shortcut. So I'm going to drop down in here, and then we're going to navigate the maze. I wonder, does he, does it seem like, oh, he's working on the timer, I think. Let's see what we can do, though, for a time. And I'm going to go ahead and record it. And um, I'm just going to watch back the video to see what the time is. So let's do it. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Oh, no. This is no, I can't do it because there's a thing happening. So he's, he's obviously built some sort of a thing in order to time what's going on here. But I think what it is is most likely piston driven. So you break this and then... Or you, go, you probably come down here, hit this, and then the piston opens, um, and then the timer starts. So, oh yeah, I'm sending a gazillion signals that way. Well, I want to do the, the thing, so what I'm going to do is just break this, and then I'll place it back when I come back through. So, all right, ready? Go. Oh, all right, let's go. I can do it. Oh, I found a secret. Uh, just a technique thing. Oh, bam. All right, let's go. Last time I went the wrong way, I think, and it was because I was going left. So this time I'm going to go not left. I'm going to go right, which I think is a bad idea. So my tactic is I'm not going to tell you. But you can see, oh, I am definitely going fast through this maze. It is a thing that I'm doing. 
wrong way. I don't know what that song is, but I like it. Oh, this sucks. I'm not doing very good right here. Bam. So, all right, I put everything back. I just went ahead and watched back the video and uh, 50 seconds. I feel pretty good about this. 50 seconds, baby. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can go down. Slip, zero, 50. Beat that, homie. Done. Bam, 50 seconds, I can't even believe it. That's like a really good improvement on time. Um, so yeah, I, I honestly, I think that the idea that he has is amazing, but I feel like we can, you're only going to get better. Like, I want to do it so many, I want to memorize it. <laughs> I want to memorize the maze so I can complete it in like 30. Like, it would be like, how long would it be? Like 10 seconds, you'd be done if you memorized it. So maybe I will, maybe I'll try to do that. I'm weird like that. Like, when I get something in my mind that I want to do, like, you know, I wanted to learn the Rubik's Cube, and I just did Rubik's Cubes for like a month until I figured it out. Like, it memorized how I could solve the Rubik's Cube. I just get, you know, in the zone, man. So, um, anyway... Wow. Uh, yeah, so I put the bacon bits back, by the way. It's okay. I put them back. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to head back to the ribbon for a sec, and I think we're going to talk a little bit more about the racetrack. All right, back at the ribbon. From here, this is really the best area from the ribbon up by Bush Gardens um, that we can view all stuff and things, but you can't really see it because of void fog. Now, can I? I can't remember. Do I even have... Uh, no. No Optifine. Right? No, I forgot. Okay, so, um, on the left side, you can see there, if you look on the left, right down there, see, I'm pointing at my screen, there's some of the fence posts that are down there, so the track, like, comes down around here, and then goes down through there, and then around like this. So, my proposal would be, uh, to come up the hill, and then maybe, I, I'm thinking about, what I'm thinking about doing is doing, like, an obstacle course of some sort. Um, and you guys had a lot of great suggestions, but some of you were really, some of them were really funny. Somebody is like, make a horse's butt with uh, rainbows shooting out of it, and then everyone was like, rainbows, and like there was like twenty comments about rainbows, and then some people were like, bubblegum factory. I was like, what? that was crazy. I can't make a bubblegum factory. How do you even do that? I guess you could. I don't know. I need to make a like a Haribo uh, gummy bears factory or something. But um, so I think that we're gonna do some sort of like. Uh, ribbony style obstacle course of some sort um, with a couple not a lot of obstacles but a couple different obstacles um, but I think we're gonna end up having to because it's such a big build set up a base of operations down there um, and that means that we need to get hoof hearted um, down in that area so which is not gonna be easy so what we got to do is ride him down the ribbon which I don't even know if it's possible to ride them all the way down there. I guess, you know, we can just probably just hop right off of there. No one will ever know. Oh, he doesn't even get hurt. He doesn't even take damage. So we got to ride him down there and uh, bring some supplies with us as well. Wow, I can't believe he can make that fall without taking any damage. I wonder how far, how far I can fall. I wonder if I could just jump right off. Probably not. Oh, man, look at this. Danger zone. Ooh, I'm like a daredevil. Um, so yeah, bring some stuff and things down there, get some, uh, chests going, get a little bit of a base of operations, but one of the reasons why I kind of said that I wanted to make it, hey, what's up, Casey? One of the things I want to, well, I take damage? Uh, yeah, uh, half heart, but one of the reasons why I want to do it out of some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, ribbony type thing is because that way it can do it with stone, of which we have tons. Um, and there won't be a, a reason that I have to gather a lot of resources. If I build it out of wood, for instance, I would have to go and gather tons of wood. And I just don't want to have to do that. So let me grab these here. Let me get Casey going here. Or not Casey, Hoof Hearted. And uh, let's head on over there. Uh, maybe before we go... What room do we have in our inventory? Let's grab... That's a trap chest. Let's grab, yeah, three chests because that makes sense. A uh, bunch of stone and grab hoof hearted and head on over so from here i'm actually not even sure how what's like the best way to get over there um let's head over this way this is probably 
better, good. Oh, gooder, more gooder. All right, let's do this. I feel like this is possible, even though it seems crazy. Look at that, no damage taken, amazing. Horses are the are miracle. So let's, oh no, see, obstacle course already. That, I never noticed that. There's tree, that's so weird. That's a really weird world, Jen. It's like two stones and trees growing out of it. Somebody took my tree right there. Not cool, people. Whoever it was, probably me. Um, so, oh yeah, over in this area is the top of the hill, I think. Oh, can we do this? Is it a thing? Good job, hoof-hearted. All right, so here it is. Here's the 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 track, and the beginning of it is over in this area. Um, so, Suzuma said, oh, mushrooms. Super rare mushrooms. I went on a mushroom hunt earlier, by the way. Um, and was looking for mushrooms. Oh, crap. Um, only to find out that I had a whole stack of them, unbeknownst to me. Oh, you can't replant? I thought you could. Well, that's fine. We'll keep them. But I want to head out over to this area and um, just set up camp at the beginning. Because that's where we're going to start the build. So, <clears throat> um, keep those ideas coming. I think that... It's going to be tough for you guys to kind of have ideas because I have ideas, you have ideas. But if you have suggestions, you can put them in the down there. Um, I, I definitely have some ideas for what we're going to be doing. Um, and I'm really excited to do it. I think that it's going to be fun because one of the things that I want to do is make a make part of the um, part of the area suspended and therefore dangerous. Like it will be fall offable. Get in there, man. Get in your thing. You're trapped. It's a thing. So, all right. We got a little area over here. Let's set these chests down, too. And uh, one of them, one of them, one of those. Bam. Bam, bam. So, it's official. We've started building the racetrack. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, um, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, oh, Steve. i got to figure out what's going on with this skin. But um, I had fun hanging out. It's kind of a derpy episode, but I feel like I had fun. So, I hope you did, too. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and support the series. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit. I'm inside of Cal's butt. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.